Okay, this is going to be quick and simple. Uh, basically, if you hear any thunder, it's raining outside, so don't worry about that. Okay, uh, this is going to be just showing how I personally set up my crates. And we're going to use this folder right here. It's basically some white label stuff I downloaded recently. And so let's jump to itch. Now here we are, inside itch. These are all my crates. I will tell you I cheated, I used scratch tools to organize all this stuff. I did not take the time out to do any of that. I already have this here. I'm going to just go ahead and hit control delete to send that to the trash because Basically, I'm just going to, I actually have some new files in that, so I'm going to add those in. So, I come up here to Files. Then, I just navigate through. I'm on my user. Then, I hit the desktop. That's where I had that. There it is right there. That's all the ones I downloaded. Yes, I downloaded a lot. Actually, that's not a lot. A lot of those are just instrumentals, and there were a couple full albums. So, anyways. So, all I do, this is all I had to do. Take those from the files, drag them over here to the bottom of the list, and boom. There it is. And it is scanning them now. <laughs> There they are. They show up. You can watch as it's reading. Uh, I'm not sure if I need... Well, let's go ahead and do that after. Let these all read. And I guess... Never mind. I'll do a different one about analyzing files and stuff. Because for the most part, these are already analyzed. Because you see I already played some of them. Because this is basically a duplicate with probably like two other things. Well, that's it on getting something from your desktop to a crate. The fast, simple way. At least how I do it. I'll do some more of these just simple things. I'll work my way across this. And then do a couple on loops and how I use loops. So, that's it for now. Thank you.